Hey guys, my name is Steve with LRM Leasing. The year is 2023, starting out the new year with a whole bunch of stuff that we have going on in the shop. I would love for you guys to follow me around so I can explain what's going on and get excited about some trucks. So stay tuned, let's go take a look at some trucks. We're gonna do a little walk through my shop just so you guys know what's going on and what we're still trying to improve on the trucks that we're trying to get ready for our customers. So let's start with bay one and work down to bay six. And there's gonna be some excitement things this year. We have some 2015 trucks, Freightliner Cascadia is now, and later this year, or earlier this year actually, we're gonna have some newer trucks. Some 2019s are gonna be rolling in and we're gearing up to get those trucks ready for our customers. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing as you see here. We're going to, our goal is to go through every truck, top to bottom, front to back, trying to get everything corrected and DOT legal, just so you guys can have a great truck when you first get it. Because again, our success is your success when it comes to trucking. Right here in Bay One, it's a truck that's it's a 2016. We're having a little bit of an electrical issue with the Jake brakes. So we're going to spend some time trying to find it to make sure that the Jake brakes cruise control and so forth is working and then we'll take it for a test drive to make sure it's up to par. And then here, what we have in Bay 2 is we actually have a customer truck, which we take pride in when you become an LRM family member by leasing a truck with us. Our goal is to get you in as quickly as possible and get you out as quickly as possible so you can be back on the road, making you some money and also trying to save you some money by doing most of the repairs here and helping you guys out when it comes to discounts on parts and labor and try to make sure we get you out the door as quickly as possible. Great news is that you don't have to wait here, you know, two to three weeks when you go to the other shops. When you become an LRM family member here, we try to get you as quickly as possible within hours or no later than the following day, depending on what time you show up. It could be an oil change, brakes, or just something that you've been frustrated with in another shop, hasn't figured it out. You guys are always welcome to come to the shop and we'll help you get that ball rolling and get the truck running right for you guys. So we have another truck here. It's a little older model. What we're doing is we're going through this one as well. It's still in the prime part of getting inspected and making sure that, again, like I said, DOT legal. And then once these trucks are done, we make sure, you know, proper fluids are topped off. You get a fresh oil change right off the bat with an air filter, fuel filter, and uh, all the things that need to be taken care of, air leaks, oil leaks, and fuel leaks. So what we're gonna do is just go through this truck, making sure that it's, again, DOT legal and trying to get you guys the best equipment that we can rolling out when you first hop into the truck. All right, rolling on down. We have another unit here. So this one here is a little bit of a turbo issue. We noticed that we did a regen on it and it wasn't getting hot enough but we also know that we had a pressure issue when it came to the turbo. Found out the turbo was leaking, we had to send it out, and we should be getting the turbo back hopefully tomorrow so we can get this thing back together and do a regen. And again, that's one of the things that we're gonna do. We're gonna regen the heck out of these trucks, you know, two times, even with a test drive, making sure that everything looks good before it goes due. So this one failed, we found out the problem, and now we're gonna get it fixed so we have a proper working truck, all right? Keep on moving, guys. All right, we have another truck. It just came in. He's still inspecting it. Um, we have a lot of trucks on our property. We try to move through them as quickly as possible, but also not giving up the quality of the truck. Um, our thing is more quality instead of quantity, but we still try to, I got a lot of technicians here in this building. Got nine guys, and they're all working on nothing but LRM trucks, which is good. So we don't take any outside work. Everything is dedicated for LRM and their family members. We have another truck here, another Freightliner, a little older model. We just finished doing most of the repairs. When we get done with the repairs, it goes to a different technician to do a final inspection to f confirm that the repairs were done and then see if it, anything was missed. The biggest thing I can tell you guys that I tell all my customers is that you can get five people to look at the truck and get five different answers. So usually most of these trucks will see anywhere between two, sometimes four mechanics, just to try to get any issues that we find, we try to get those repaired. And then we also encourage, if you guys want, you can bring a mechanic. We don't have any hurt feelings here. You can always have them take a look over it. And sometimes we miss it and we'll get the repairs done and get the truck rolling. 
All right, as you guys can see, we got a lot of trucks in the shop. Some of them that we're finishing up, some of them that are in the middle of repairs. I got a guy over here. We uh, did a regen and it ended up failing. So we found out that it was a gasket. He's gonna put it in and then retest and hopefully we should be up and running after that. And then test drive also, make sure we do that passive regen. This Freightliner, um, as you can see, a lot of them are still a little bit older models, you know, 15s to 17s. And like I said, this year we're gonna have some new ones rolling in. So we're trying to make room for the uh, new equipment that's gonna be coming. So this guy, we're finishing up repairs. We got a you know, U joint. We still have carrier bearing to do, some torque rods. So that's why it doesn't matter what kind of repairs we need. It'll be from the smallest to the biggest thing. We wanna make sure that the truck heads out successfully for you guys to start making money. So we're down here at Bay 6. Uh, we have a few oil leaks. Our rule of thumb is if we run the truck, anything that hits the ground, that's a DOT violation. We want to clean those oil leaks up, repair them. And once we repair them, we're going to run them again to make sure that there are no more oil leaks. We want to make sure that we don't give you a seeping truck. This is one of the things that I think every truck has an issue. There's always some sort of oil leak. All we try to do is manage it and repair it so you guys can get on the road and pass DOT. Just remember, our goal is for you guys to pass. All right, guys, I hope that you like what you saw today with all the trucks that we talked about in our shop. And now you guys know what's going on with our equipment for 2023. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't forget to leave me a comment at the bottom. Especially this year, I want you guys to get excited about telling me some more information that you guys want to learn about your freight, about your freight liners. And I'll be gladly to fill out that information on the bottom in comments or at least making a video so you guys can know how to do it yourself. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit the like button. And guys, this year, let's start subscribing so you can get some more content and more knowledge about your trucks. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great year.